Um, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Alicia Garner, and I am going to do a really quick webinar that shows you how to use a program called MWSNAP. And this program is what you can use to pull information like pictures off of websites. So what I have here, just what you need to do is go to your Start button. This is going to be very basic training. And you will want to pull up your Internet Explorer or whatever you use to get to the Internet. Now my home page is going to be different than yours, so don't be concerned if it looks different. But you do want to go to Google. So you will type in google.com and go to Google. And in the search bar, you are going to want to type in MWSNAP, free, and look, mine's popping up, download. And then just press Enter on your keyboard. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get some different ones that you can download. Um, I like the CNET one. I just have used them before and trust them. So just click on the one that you see here. You'll notice this is download.cnet.com. You can pause this recording right now if you want to look for that. And then once you get to that, you will click on the blue highlighted section. One time, left click. And that's going to take you to the website where you can download the latest version for free. Um, what you'll want to do is, sorry, I, it's right here in front of my face. What you want to do is just click on the Download Now button. Now when you click on this Download Now, it's going to say um, that your download will begin in a moment. If it doesn't, click here and try again. Now mine brought up this highlighted box, which some of you may have because of security settings on your computer. If you do, just put your mouse up there, click it, and just say, hey, yeah, download the file, and it'll start downloading it. It's going to come up with this saying, do you want to run or save this file? We are going to run, and you're just going to wait for it to start doing its thing. Now, your computer may be slower or faster than mine, but that's fine. And it says it's going to tell you the publisher couldn't be verified. That doesn't matter. You'll want to go ahead and run it. And then it's going to ask you what language you'd like. I'm English speaking, so I'm going to do English. And then it's telling you just hit Next. Just keep hitting Next. It knows where to put it at. And just give your computer a little bit of time to install. And it says it's been successfully installed. Click Finish. And easy as that, you now have a software. And you can go ahead and close this as well. You now have software on your computer that will enable you to take pictures off the site. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. Now mine, um, hold on just a second here. You should have it in your list of programs. Right here is mine. It says MW Snap. So what you'll want to do, whenever you want to use this program, say you're on a website, we'll go to, um, let's just go to localadlink.com. Say you're on localadlink.com and you'd like to do a screen capture because say that um, you know this one of these people is somebody you have personally put in as an, as an ad or whatnot, you would go to Start, then you would go to All Programs, then you would come over to MW Snap, and you would highlight it right here, the little camera MW Snap. You click one time, left click one time on that, and the first time it comes up, it's going to want you to give the language again. You just want to click on English and OK. Now this is a program. It's a very basic program. What I normally do when I capture a picture, it's automatically going to be set like this. The only thing I ever change is instead of a fixed rectangle, I do any rectangle area. Then what you want to do is make sure that you have up the web link, like down here is where you can access the different pages. Make sure you have that one up, and then you're going to do snap any area. And you'll notice my little cursor turned into a little X or a cross. You can literally, you just push this where you want it and click one time left click. Then you can drag it. And you see how it's making this box? You can drag that wherever you want. And let's say we want to end here. 
then you would one time left click and it takes a picture of that and it puts it right here into um, MW Snap. Now from here, if you wanted to say save this, you would just click on File, Save As, and here you could save this as, you know, whatever you want. You can name it, save it, and it'll put it on your um, hard drive as a JPEG. So let's say that you have somebody that wanted you to pull a logo for them off of their website. Um, for Let's do one that we've done. I think Rita's Ice Cream. I'm not sure if this is their website or not. We'll find out. Uh, da, 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 no. Here. Here's Rita's. Rita's Ice.com. Sorry about that. So let's say they said, hey, you know, go ahead and do it for me. Um, I don't have a copy of my logo. Well, here's a picture of their logo right here. This is the online birthday club. Here's another picture of a logo. What you want to do is try to find a good one that's clean. Um, that one's not, I mean, this one's not bad. But what you could do is in the meantime, if they say, hey, I would like you to take the logo off my website, just make sure this website's up, then click on your MW Snap. Make sure it's on any rectangled area. Click on Snap any area and see again I get this little cross and then you can take say you just want to take this section right here you could take that and you could have a logo um, that's not the best one but you get the idea and you can continue to do this you know with anything if, if they have a uh, say they have a menu that they want to put on here I know that they've got a menu you could take this menu that they have and you can just use your MW snap you go snap any area and you can take this and you can go you know hey there's there's a partial a portion of their menu then you can just go in here and do save as now I actually keep a local ad link um, folder which you can too and then you can put in here you know Rita's menu and you can save it to your hard drive just by pressing on save I'm not going to save it because I don't need to. But um, So that gives you an idea of what you can do. You can also upload pictures for them. If they wanted pictures of, say, this Italian ice, you would just use your MW Snap, do Snap Any Area, take this, and you can save that now. And that can be one of the pictures that you upload in the picture section. So very simple and free tool that you can use. And it comes in real handy um, when you're wanting to put some ads together for people or help embellish their ad for them. So hopefully that helps you guys. And uh, look forward to doing a couple more of these little trainings like this. Have a great day.